What is going on, friends? Happy Sunday to you. Hope your weekend is going good. Mine's been better than it was. The last, let me tell you what happened last weekend. So last weekend, Memorial Day weekend, I am uh, getting ready for a four-day weekend. Going to have some fun. Uh, friends coming over, going to do some fun things, relax, you know, four-day weekend. It's going to be great. That Friday morning, I wake up sick. Had a bad cold. It just got worse throughout the whole Memorial Day weekend. Um, last week, I felt like crap. Finally starting to feel better. Been kind of dead the last week. Pisses me off. And here, being all, saying all that, let me tell you something right now. Uh, this probably be an unpopular opinion with some people. But vitamins and cold meds are nothing but a scam. All right? I got COVID a couple years ago. Got over that. I said, I'm going to start taking vitamins, you know, immune boosters and all that to kind of help when I get sick. So I said, I've been doing that for the last couple of years. Twice now in the last year. I, usually, I always get a cold twice a year for some reason, summertime, wintertime. Twice left this year or in the last six months, I've got, I got my winter cold last December, summer cold just now. And uh, you would think taking vitamins, vitamin C, uh, zinc, and all those other immune boosters would help. Uh, I'm not saying they'll totally block off a sickness, but you would think that the, you wouldn't feel as bad or the cold wouldn't, whatever you got, wouldn't last as long. Wrong. Still felt like crap, even before I started taking vitamins. So yeah, I'm not buying vitamins no more. They're a big scam. And so is cold medicine now. Yeah, you know, some of you old schoolers like me, remember back when the NyQuil was good? Man, you were sick as a dog, coughing up your lungs, take a shot of NyQuil at night, sleep like a baby, no coughing or anything. Even the DayQuil, take that stuff, DayQuil, back in the day, during the day. Uh, man, help you feel good during the day. All those other cough medicines, too. No, none of them work anymore. I don't know if it's because of kids getting high off of them or what, but yeah, so... My, my my opinion on things, vitamins and cold meds, all a big scam. All right, so with that being said, let's get to, uh, got a lot of news items before we get to the back to uh, baseball and softball. So let's dive right into that. Oh, before we start, hit that subscribe button down there so you don't miss anything. Listen to it at work. Listen to watch it while uh, your wife's got HGTV on, whatever. All right, so uh, a little sad news here. Uh, former Michigan State football coach, Denny Stoltz, he died uh, last week, age 89. He was 126, 92, and 2 in uh, 21 seasons as a football coach at four different schools. Uh, he won two MAC titles at Bowling Green. So uh, Denny Stoltz has passed on prayers to his family, friends, and uh, all his former players. Uh, Iowa. Their athletic director, Gary Barda, he's retiring. Uh, he's been in Iowa for 17 years. So I uh, guess he's going to ride off into the sunset, spend time with his family. Arkansas, they dismissed backup quarterback uh, Kay Renfro from the team. Accusations of sexual assault and harassment posted to social media the uh, last couple of weeks. Uh, evidently the account depicted uh, physical abuse photos, abuse that was carried out by him. Uh, not smart. I mean, it's not smart sexually assaulting and other things, but if, why would you even put that on social media for the world and the law to see? I mean, so, I man, if you're going to be that dumb, you probably don't want that person on your team anyway, or in your school, so... Uh, I don't know, that, that's like the third, fourth sexual assault case here in the last couple of months with these some of these college players. Uh, House, how the House Subcommittee, considering federal regulatory, regulatory body to oversee NIL rights for college athletes. Uh, nothing good is going to come of this because the government's involved. I think we all know that the last 20, 30 years. Government gets involved. It goes to crap. So, uh, yeah, don't expect it to get any better with them getting involved. Uh, hey, apparently, remember Paul Christ, Wisconsin coach, did did quite well. Won a couple, two or three Big Ten titles, and then they let him go. Uh, I only think it was midseason. I think at the end of September last year that Wisconsin let him go. Apparently, he's joining Texas staff 
as offensive analyst and special assistant to Steve Sarkeesian, uh, whatever that means. Remember ex-TCU TCU coach Gary Patterson? He held that position last season. So uh, Sark is bringing in Paul Christ for the for the same position. So see how that works out. Hey, Florida men's golf, congratulations. You are national champions. Their fifth national championship in men's golf. Way to go. Uh, right now, SEC decided they're going to stick with the eight with a eight game conference schedule, but they're getting rid of divisions when Texas and Oklahoma joins in 2024. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that. I like divisions and uh, conferences. Um, but I guess you know times change and it is what it is. So anyway, what are you going to do, huh? All right, so. We're going to hit softball first, and then we'll get on to baseball. Women's College World Series underway. Um, number f- uh, Let's go back to Thursday. Started Thursday, so we're going to go back to Thursday. Uh, number four, Tennessee. Beat number 16, Bama. 10 to 5. Uh, Tennessee's West. She had a three-run home run. And uh, Brackenbro, she hit a two-run home run for the Vols for Bama. Uh, Callahan, two-run double and an RBI single. Uh, that same day, Thursday, number one, Oklahoma beats number eight, Stanford, two to nothing. Uh, Sooners Coleman, she hit an RBI single. Ball, she struck out 11 batters, not bad. Uh, number three, Florida State beat number 12, Oklahoma State, eight to nothing that day. Uh, Seminoles Mudge, three-run home run. Etterfield, two-run home run. Moving on to Friday, Number five, Washington beat number 17, Utah, 4-1. Uh, Washington's Hal Tarf, two-run home run and an RBI single. Number eight, Stanford beat number 16, Bama. Got right on out of there. Uh, beat them two to nothing. Stanford steal, solo home run, RBI double. Uh, Montana Fouts for Bama, only four strikeouts in that game. So uh, Bama's done, out, which is crazy. You wouldn't expect to see them to... Leave as early as they did, but hey, they did. It is what it is. Uh, five innings, number 12, Oklahoma State beat number 17, Utah, eight to nothing. Utah done. They're out of it now. Uh, Carwile for Oklahoma State, two run single and an RBI single. Uh, Saturday, number one, Oklahoma beat number four, Tennessee, nine to nothing. Sooners Jennings hit a three run home run. Hanson hit a two run home run. Boone, two run triple. And then the last game yesterday, number three, Florida State beat number five, Washington, three to one. Uh, Muffley for the Seminoles, RBI single. A uh, couple softball games today to determine who's going to be the final two teams. Um, there is no, uh, I don't believe there's any baseball on Thursday. Uh, so, baseball Friday. Lexington Regionals got underway. Uh, Field of 64 was set last Monday. I laid there coughing up a lung watching it. I was going to do a video on it, but I was like, you know, I feel like crap. I ain't going to do it. So I didn't do it. Anyway, Lexington Regional. Uh, Kentucky beat Ball State 4 to nothing. Petrie, Petrie for Kentucky. Two-run single. Burke solo home run. Indiana beat West Virginia 12-6. to six. Uh, Indiana's Tibbetts hit a two-run triple. Pine hit a two-run home run. Gainesville Regional, Texas Tech beat number 10, UConn, 3-2. to two. Uh, Texas Tech's Vultite, two-run single. Molina struck out 10 batters. Number two, Florida beat Florida A&M, 3 to nothing. Uh, Florida's Rivera, two-run home run. And uh, Caglione, seven strikeouts. Charlottesville Regional, number 11, Virginia beat Army, 15-1. to one. Uh, Virginia's Sake, Hit an RBI double and an RBI single. Number 15, East Carolina beat OU, 14-5. to uh, Will Coxon for East Carolina, two-run home run. Nashville Regional, number 24, Oregon beat Xavier, 5-4. to uh, Oregon's Cali, RBI double and an RBI single. Number four, Vanderbilt beat Eastern Illinois, 12-2. to Vandy's Espinal, three-run double and an RBI single. And uh, Vanderbilt, 12 total strikeouts with their pitchers. Stillwater, Washington, beat number 18, Dallas Baptist, 9-5. Tincher for Washington, three-run home run. 
Snyder, two-run home run and an RBI double. Uh, Oral Roberts beat number 16, Oklahoma State, at home, 6-4. to four. Uh, Oral Roberts, McCoskey, two RBI singles in that one. Clemson Regional, number three, Clemson beat Lipscomb, 12-5. to five. A Mick for Clemson, Grand Slam. Grice had a two-run home run there. Uh, Vergara for Lipscomb, though, hit two solo home runs. Uh, number 21, Tennessee beat Charlotte, 8-1. to one. UT's Merritt, uh, three-run home run. Moore, two-run double and a solo home run. Lindsey, 10 strikeouts for the Volunteers. Winston-Salem Regional, number 19, Maryland beat Northeastern, 7-2. to two. Uh, LaRusso for Maryland, solo home run and an RBI single. Number one, Wake Force beats George Mason 12 to nothing. Johnson for Wake Force, grand slam and a two-run home run. And then Keener struck out 13 batters for the Demon Deacons. Uh, Columbia Regional, NC State beat number 12, Campbell, 5 to 1. Uh, Grover the third for the Wolfpack, hit two solo, solo home runs. South Carolina beat Central Connecticut 19 to 1. Wow. Uh, McGillis for South Carolina, three run home run. Braswell, three run double. Pretty impressive. Uh, Conway Regional. Duke beat UNC Wilmington 12 to 3. Mets for Duke. Uh, hit two, two run home runs and a solo home run. So he had a hell of a game. Ryder beat Coastal Carolina 11 to 10. Ryder's Hartman had a two run double. Winsett hit two two-run singles. Uh, Tara Haight, regional. Number 23, Indiana State. Beat Wright State, 6-5. to five. Uh, McGill for Indiana State, two-run single. Pottinger had a solo home run. But Wright State's Angela Anglin, he hit two-run home run. So. Iowa beat North Carolina, 5-4. to four. Iowa's Hajnar, two-run double. Uh, Iowa had a total of nine strikeouts for their pitchers. Auburn Regional in 10 innings, Samford uh, beat number 13, Southern Miss, 4-2. Rodriguez for Samford, solo home run. 11 innings, Penn beat number 20, Auburn, 6-3. Penn's appeal, 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 two-run home run. Uh, Fayetteville, number 5, Arkansas beat Santa Clara, 13-6. Arkansas's digs, three-run single. Cali had a three-run home run. Josenberger, two-run home run. Uh, number 17, TCU beat Arizona 12-4. TCU's Taylor, three-run home run, two-run single, and an RBI single. A hell of a game for him. Tuscaloosa Regional, Troy beat Boston College 11-10. Troy's Myers, three-run home run in that game. Um, for Toronto, for Boston College, he had a hell of a game. Three-run home run and a solo home run. Number 22, Bama beat Nichols 4-3. Alabama had 11 total strikeouts in that game. Baton Rouge Regional. Uh, watch this one. This is a pretty good one. Number seven, LSU beat Tulane 7 to 2. LSU, Stravinsky, and Cruz hit RBI doubles. Skeens, man, that guy's incredible. 12 strikeouts in that game. Number 14, Oregon State beat Sam Houston 18 to 2. Uh, Oregon State's McDowell and Turley each hit three run home runs in that one. Coral Gables, Texas beat Louisiana 4-2. Campbell for UT had a two-run double. Gordon struck out eight batters. Number eight, Miami beat Maine 9-1. Morales for Miami, three-run home run. Stanford Regional, number six, Stanford beat San Jose State 13-2. Uh, Rios for Stanford, grand slam in that one. Troy, he had a two-run home run and an RBI single. Uh, number 15, Texas A&M beats Cal State Fullerton 12-7. or 12 to 7. Texas A&M's uh, Torgot, two-run home run. Brings us to yesterday, baseball. Uh, Columbia Regional. Number 12, Campbell beats Central Connecticut 10-5. to 5. Arnold for Campbell, grand slam in that game. Uh, Belbin, three-run home run. South Carolina beat NC State 6-3. to 3. Wimmer. South Carolina, two-run home run. Charlottesville, Oklahoma, beat up on the little poor Army, 10-1. to one. Feel bad for Army. Uh, Madron for Oklahoma, two-run triple, RBI double, and he fouled out in a run scored on that. Uh, number 11, Virginia beat number 15, East Carolina, 2-1. to one. Lexington, West Virginia beat Ball State, 13-5. to five. 
Weatherholt for West Virginia, three-run home run. Uh, Suave, two-run home run for the Mountaineers. Indiana beat Kentucky 5-3. to three. Cerudo for Indiana, three-run home run. Uh, Winston-Salem, George Mason beat Northeastern 11-3. to three. George Mason's proc. Two-run double, two-run single, and an RBI single. His bat was pretty much on fire. Uh, <coughs> it's like a football game here. Number one, Wake Forest beat number 19, Maryland, 21-6. to six. God. Uh, Wake Forest is Corona. As it wasn't enough, they were beating, uh, they were, uh, beating Maryland pretty substantial. Uh, Corona for Wake Forest hits a grand slam in the eighth. Kind of insult to injury there. Gainesville, number 10, UConn beat Florida A&M, nine to six. UConn's, uh, Huber, two run home run and an RBI single. Texas Tech beat number two, Florida, five to four. Texas Tech's cash, two run and a solo home run. <coughs> Should have taken his damn, uh, Cough drop, even though they probably wouldn't work either. Uh, where were we? Where were we? Terra Hate. North Carolina beat Wright State 5 to nothing. Uh, Harvath from North Carolina. Three run home run. Grounded out in a run scored. Number 20, 23, Indiana State beat Iowa 7 to 4. Iowa State's Rivera and McGill hit two run doubles each. Uh, Clemson, Charlotte beat Lipscomb 9 to 2. Charlotte Wiesner, three-run home run. Uh, Dragum, I always want to say dad gum when I see his name, but Dragum, two-run home run. Man, this cough. Uh, number 21, Tennessee beat number three, Clemson, six to five. Tennessee's Denton, three-run home run and a solo home run. Conway, number nine, Coastal Carolina beat UNC Wilmington, 12 to two. Brown for Coastal Carolina, grand slam in that game. Duke beat Ryder 2-1. Coral Gables, Louisiana beat Maine 19-10. Uh, Roccaforte for Louisiana. Roccaforte and the Barge each hit three run home runs in that one. Uh, but Maine, though, O'Neill for Maine. He hit a three run and a two run home run. Uh, Texas beat number eight Miami 4-1. I did not see that one coming. Uh, Campbell for UT, two run home run. Johnson, eight strikeouts for the Longhorns. Stillwater, number 18, Dallas Baptist beat Oklahoma State 18 to 4 in their own stadium. Uh, Santos, Santos, Santos for Dallas Baptist hit two three run home runs. He hit a two run home run and an RBI double. Hell of a game for him. Oral Roberts beat Washington 15 to 2. Get this Washington went up seven. To nothing in the first inning. Scored seven runs in the first inning. Uh, they scored another one too, I think, in the second inning. So made it like eight to nothing or eight to one. Uh, Oral Roberts came back, scored 12 runs in the third, fourth, and fifth innings. <clears throat> Auburn, number 13, uh, Southern Miss beat number 20, Auburn, seven to two. Sergeant for Southern Miss, three run home run. Dickerson, two solo home runs. Penn beat Samford, five to four. Uh, Baton Rouge games were postponed because of weather. Actually, Sam Houston, I think Tulane, started. They only got to about the sixth or seventh inning. They called it. It's going to pick up today. And then uh, uh, LSU and I believe Oregon State is who they're playing. They're going to play right after Sam Houston and Tulane. So as soon as they finish that game, LSU game will start up. Uh, Nashville, Xavier beat Eastern Illinois 7 to nothing. Walker for Xavier, three-run home run. Uh, number 24, Oregon, beat number 4, Vanderbilt, 8-7. to seven. Walsh, three-run double for Oregon. Stanford, Cal State Fullerton, beat San Jose State, 9-5. to five. Connor for Cal State Fullerton, three-run home run and an RBI double. Number 25, Texas A&M, beat number 6, Stanford, 8-5. Uh, to five. Haas for the Aggies, hit two-run and three-run doubles. Uh, Tuscaloosa, Boston College beat Nichols 14 to 6. Uh, Boston College, Magnoli, no, McNulty, Wang, and Vertrano all hit three run home runs for the Eagles. Uh, number 22, Alabama beat Troy 11 to 8. Rose, two run home run for Alabama. 
and Fayetteville. Santa Clara beat Arizona 9-3. O'Hara for Santa Clara. Two-run home run. That is it. Uh, like we mentioned uh, LSU playing Oregon State. Um, I know LSU's ranked. I believe Oregon State is too. But I was looking through the schedule real quick this morning. There's about three or four games where ranked teams are matched up playing each other. So it's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day in baseball, uh, softball. They're getting things wrapped up there to get their final teams for the uh, World Women's College World Series finals. Anyway, uh, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Hope the week goes by fast for you. Uh, hopefully, next time I see, you, I'll be over this cold because, uh, as I said in the beginning, vitamins and cold medicines ain't helping. So, anyway, have a good week. Stay busy. Stay safe. We'll see you next time.